Welcome to our South Dakota road trip series. This is part one of four. We are Mandy, Orlando, and Abraham, our great Pyrenees. In this video, we're taking you to Sioux Falls, Montrose, Desmet, Mitchell, and Chamberlain to see waterfalls, crazy sculptures in the middle of nowhere, a little house on the prairie, and the world's only corn palace. And there's some gorgeous South Dakota architecture on the way. Are you ready? There are plenty of places to walk around, including ruins of an old mill and an observation tower for some great views. And if you stand at the bridge for that perfect selfie, you can also see downtown. Warning, the water at the falls when we were there in the summer was stagnant and a bit stinky. So we headed to the Falls Overlook Cafe and inhaled some South Dakota beer instead. It's the best way to admire the falls. Time for a little walk downtown along Phillips Avenue to the shops, cafes and bars. This is the sculpture walk and there's more art around the corner at the Sioux Falls murals. And then a wonderful surprise. It's the Ark of Dreams designed by South Dakota artist laureate Dale Lamphere. We're going to see this guy later on in the video and I think this is one of my favourite pieces of art so far. Driving west along Route 90 towards Montrose, we came across this. The Porter Sculpture Park in the middle of a prairie. The brainchild of self-taught artist Wayne Porter, where you can find some wacky art and poetry. Yes! There's a flowery dinosaur, a jack-in-the-box, some guy with a hand growing out of his head, and a yellow hammer, because who couldn't use one of those? Add in some red monks, a bit of poetry, a horse made out of scrap metal, and a 60-foot bull that you can go inside and feel like you're Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. I won't tell you what's in there. Okay, I'll tell you. Snakes! I feel like I'm living in a fishbowl. Oh. It is a fishbowl. What is it, Abraham? Um, your guess is as good as mine. The Porter Sculpture Park was $10 of fun and dog friendly. A nice walkabout before heading out to the tiny town of Desmet, the setting for the Little House on the Prairie book series. Laura's family were homesteaders and she wrote about their life living on the prairie. The museum shows you how they used to live in the late 1800s and you can even see the school where she used to teach. If you were a fan of the show, this is a wonderfully nostalgic stop. I'm not a fan of the show, so I will wait right here. Welcome to Mitchell. This town is a really popular tourist spot, mainly because of its corn palace, of all things. The world's only corn palace at that. It's bushels of fun. Look, it says so right here. Originally, corn palaces were all over the Midwest, a celebration of agriculture and symbols of patriotism. They were the in thing for 50 years, but this is the only one left. These days, the world's only corn palace serves as an auditorium, a conference center, a concert hall, sports arena, a museum, and of course, a massive gift shop. It's a bit of an art gallery too, with murals all around, made of, oh go on, have a guess, corn. Visitors can read all about South Dakota's history, and it's very interesting actually. But I think most tourists just pop in for some popcorn and, dare I say it, to buy some corny souvenirs. 
Popcorny socks, anyone? Perhaps a popcorn tie? Hello! Enough corn, more barley. Let's go to the depot for a drink. I'm doing my flights again, but this time it's in South Dakota. Dry Giant IPA. High on a hill above the Missouri River is Abraham. He's admiring this beautiful lady, dignity of earth and sky. And she represents indigenous women everywhere. She's larger than life and was created by Dale Lamphere. Remember the Ark of Dreams in Sioux Falls? Same artist. You can walk around the beautiful grounds and see other Native American sculptures. But we stopped right here. In an effort to avoid poisonous snakes, we headed to the Acta Lakota Museum downtown. Acta Lakota means to honor the people, and the museum depicts how the Lakota tribes lived. There are so many museums around the Great Plains telling the story of America's first people versus the homesteaders in the Great Migration West, of how the Lakota way of life forever changed. It's a dichotomy between tradition and expansion, and it's almost impossible not to see both sides. finished our visit with a walk in the peaceful Medicine Wheel Garden, a nice way to reflect and count our blessings before we watched the sunset over the bluffs across the river in Wacoma. And what a perfect way to say goodbye to Chamberlain watching this beautiful sunrise. Some people weren't happy about waking up so early. I'm just saying. Oh, Abraham, we're sorry. You just chew your bone in the back seat because that's a wrap for this video. Thanks everyone for letting us share the world with the world. And if you had fun on this trip, please give us a like and subscribe. Oh, and if you like reading, I wrote a book. And I also recorded the audiobook. It's the story of my life set all over the world, and it's We of Pants Funny. You'll find the link below.